basically what we're going to do today is we're going to spend a couple minutes. I'm going to show you, first of all, just kind of a bird's eye view and why we created this product and a little bit about why it's taking the industry by storm. Then I'm going to spend just a minute to show you some examples of how it's working so well for agents out in the field. So hopefully you'll get a little bit excited about helping more people with this product. Then we're going to spend just a minute or two on why critical illness really in itself is really hot, but this isn't really just a critical illness policy. It's got a lot of unique features in it. Then we're going to show you the one of the most important parts of this morning's webinars of the crossover of the claims between this product and long-term care insurance. Then I'm going to spend a few moments since this product is telling you about what critical care is and how it works. We're going to spend a couple minutes showing you how the plan is designed and how it works. Then I'm going to spend a little bit more time to really show you some of those differences on the underwriting side compared to long-term care insurance using some real specific examples that I think you'll, you'll like and it'll open your eyes a little bit. Then finally, we're going to finish off with the critical care application and show you real quickly how to calculate rates with this product and show you how easy that is to do. So basically, it sounds like a lot of material, and I zoomed through it pretty quick here, but I do want to let you know that we can get you the slides for today's presentation very easily, so don't worry about that. You don't have to sit and take copious notes, and at the end, I'll open it up for questions as well. But first of all, if you look at just an overall bird's eye view of it, the one thing I've spent some time talking to my agent for us that's helped them uh, open some conversations with this product or make some transitions, if you will, from long-term care insurance to this product is basically explaining to them the reality of why it came about. And with long-term care insurance, that's what we do here at Golden Care and our sister company, AIM, and we've written literally over half a million dollars, as you know, over the years with long-term care insurance. So we've written a lot of business and helped a lot of people, but the one thing we've seen as we go out there is that whether we're doing consumer seminars or talking to our agent force or sitting across the table from prospects in long-term care insurance, we know there's lots of people we've left behind. And that's one of the things that made us really design this product is we got tired of leaving so many folks behind, especially in today's changing long-term care insurance market. We know that the underwriting is as tough as ever. So this product is really a perfect fit. And this specific webinar today, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about, we call it the low-hanging fruit. The people who really need our help, we spent time talking about long-term care insurance, and they're uninsurable or declined. We all know this product works great for everybody. Remember, everybody you talk to when you talk about major conditions that we'll get into this morning about strokes and heart attacks and all these major critical illnesses that are covered, just about everybody we talk to knows somebody who's had something like that. So it's a great product for people of any walk of life virtually, but I'm going to spend more time today talking about why it's almost a no-brainer and it's certainly a necessity for you as a long-term care agent or a long-term care specialist to have this product in your portfolio so you can help those people we just can't help with traditional long-term care insurance. Okay, that being said, let's jump right in. Basically, in a bird's eye view of this product, we've got easy stuff. And if you're in long-term care, I think you'll agree this is the way it's, that's a nice little change from what you've been doing. Simple five-question yes or no application when it comes to the health questions. And we'll show you what those are today. It's got over a 90% issue rate. There's no height and weight charts to worry about, which is nice, and no APS or cognitive or telephone interviews to worry about on a standard everyday basis. Easier access to benefits at claim time. It's always first day coverage with this product. We've got to take off our long-term care hat. And remember with this product, there's no of two, six, two of six activities of daily living to worry about, no 90-day pre-cert. This is a pure diagnosis trigger. And it pays no matter what, whether you get better or even if worst case scenario you pass away while you're under claim, this product still pays, unlike long-term care insurance. And we're going to show you that we designed this product to try to mirror as much as we can our traditional long-term care insurance. You're going to see that it pays up to 100% extra benefits if you're in a nursing home. And I'm going to talk about the fact it pays extra for assisted livings in almost every state as well. One of the things we're going to talk about today is that while it's not long-term care insurance, and it certainly is a different product, it has a lot of things that are even better than long-term care insurance in it. It's going to cover based on diagnosis. So some of those things that we think about with long-term care insurance that are never really covered, like heart attacks, for example, we don't hear a lot about that with traditional long-term care insurance. With this product, it's covered. Same thing with cancer. Look at cancer. If you think about cancer with long-term care, it's a huge part of the claims process in the long run, but it's usually the end stages of cancer, isn't it? 
when you get to the point that you're pretty sick and you really need help with those activities of daily living. With this product, it's immediately upon diagnosis. So we're going to have a lot more cancer patients who will have coverage with this product than they would with traditional long-term care insurance. And for you agents out there, one of the things agents like is there's no special long-term care, continuing education you have to worry about, or partnership training, et cetera. Basically, in a nutshell, what I'm going to try to show you here in the next few minutes is why we believe this product is really the best alternative in the industry for traditional long-term care. For those folks who can't get long-term care insurance coverage, there really is no better answer than the critical care product. Sticking with our bird's eye mode here, basically you're going to see this is taken right from the application that I'm going to show you down the line in a few more minutes. But basically if you're sitting across the table from somebody who's uninsurable or somebody who's been declined for traditional long-term care insurance, you really can ask yourself three questions. The first one, in the last 10 years, have they been treated for any of the major conditions you see on your screen? And those, as you can see, are the biggies. Okay, so we're not going to knock too many people off with just this one. Then the next question we ask is, in the past five years, have you had some drug or alcohol problems, or are they currently confined in a nursing home or assisted living? Again, throwing that net pretty wide, not having a lot of people knocked out from that. And finally, the last one's kind of a catch-all that you'll see is laid out even easier in the application that says, in the past two years, have you been advised to seek treatment, but you haven't yet done it? That's the key words here. If you see the conditions on the screen there, if you've had any of those conditions, we still might be able to get you some coverage if you've been treated for it. If it's for some reason you, you tell on the app that you had those conditions and somebody's advised you or an ordinarily prudent person would, would seek advice and you haven't done it yet, then we can't get you coverage. Okay, so remember to make that uh, differentiation when you get to the application. It's real, real simple as you'll see. Okay? The nice news is if you answer no to those questions, we might have a perfect solution for your prospect. Now think about that. If you've been out in long-term care and you've been out in the field, we all know we've had declines. We all know that certain times that, that underwriting is as tough as daylights and it's really frustrating as an agent. But think about it from the client's perspective. It's really disappointing. You've had the chance in some cases even to develop the need. I know I've done over 100 live consumer seminars over the years with long-term care insurance. And that was always one of the hardest parts for me. Is I, I loved doing it because I knew I was helping a lot of people. But on the flip side, I knew there was a lot of people in every single crowd that I would educate about why long-term care insurance is so important. I'd educate about the aging America and how we live longer but sicker, etc. At the end of the day, I knew there was going to be a lot of people I'd have to leave behind. And that's why this product's here. It was built by long-term care agents for long-term care agents. And it's really the perfect fit for you. And it's called Critical Care from Guaranteed Trust Life. And this product is very unique. And I'm going to show you that today. It's unlike probably anything else you've seen in the field. The good news for you folks is it works. It works. We've got examples already that we've seen agents going out and have tremendous success with this product in the field. I don't know if you can read this slide very well, but these are actual cases that were accepted by GTL. Now, the top one up there, age 80, using a wheelchair, lost her left leg due to an automobile accident. That was a no-brainer no for long-term care insurance. It's not going to happen, but we were able to get coverage with this policy. Age 71, diabetic, six foot two, 340 pounds, we were able to get uh, uh, coverage, excuse me, using this product. Age 64, eight back surgeries, 80 milligrams of methadone three times a day for chronic pain and fibromyalgia, and we were able to get a coverage with this plan. Down at the bottom, 55 year old, definitely with some height challenge there, five foot two, 232 pounds, with mobility issues because of bilateral knee replacement, we were able to get coverage with this product. So you can see it's a vast different market and it opens up a ton of new doors for you than we have with traditional long-term care insurance. And again, the good news for you guys is that it works. Here's Agent Lou. I think Lou's out in the state of Washington. In two weeks, he went out and made 13 sales with this product right when it was offered. He went out to his existing clients. He knew that he couldn't get long-term care insurance. Or you can see he really worked hard in the older market. Remember the good old days for those of you agents who are Wiley veterans. Remember those days we could go out and sell to the older folks out there and have long-term care, have a prayer of getting through. Now we can do it again. Now the issue age for this you'll see is all the way up to age 84 at application. So we can go out 
and write these older folks who are so desperate and really understand the need for some type of protection. You can see here with Lou, 21,000 plus the first week and followed it up by a 13,000 week right after that. Terry, 10 sales. Went out there, again, hitting hard on the older market, as you can see. Went out and immediately made 10 sales, working with a lot of these older folks, again, as you can see on the screen. Pretty hefty premiums. Look at that, $24,000 from those 10 sales. So you can see these are nice, big, robust plans. Sam, I know Sam's uh, story right off the bat. He went out and probably did faster than any other agent out there when this was released. Went out and immediately made 12 sales. He kept real good records of who he talked to about traditional long-term care insurance and some of those married couples who he couldn't get policies for because one wasn't insurable or those people who just were field declines. You can see he really went out and hit it, even the younger folks, 57-year-old in there, uh, another 57-year-old you can see on the screen. So he went out and hit all types of people. He went out, I think in his first 12 sales, 10 of them were issued within literally a day or two because this product was brand new on the market, so the company was ready and willing to pound these sales through, and Sam had a lot of success with this right out of the gates as well. So hopefully, again, I just want to show you folks that this is really a product that we know works. And as of uh, February 15th, you can see a screen list there, because everybody asks it's approved in their state. If it isn't approved in your state yet, uh, you're going to ask me at the end of this, and I'm going to tell you I don't know. We don't know for sure when they're going to be approved in these states, uh, every time we venture a guest, we get in trouble. So uh, it will be, as, I promise you, as soon as we know, if you're appointed in that state for any of our products here at Golden Care, we'll certainly send you a notice that it's been approved in that state. Next, let's look overall. This is kind of a bird's eye view of why critical illness is hot in the U.S. just on its own. Excuse me. And basically this, again, this product is, is one of the hottest products out there. Just critical illness on its own is a hot product, really growing. It's huge, huge, huge overseas in Europe, and it's really hitting the U.S. market right now. But I'm going to show you again, if you're a little familiar with critical illness, don't shut me down. This product is very unique from the traditional critical illness plans, and I'll talk about that a little bit too. But overall, it's pretty easy, and you don't have to have a rocket science degree to know why critical illness on its own is growing uh, in the U.S. We know people are having these types of illnesses more and more often, and more importantly, people are living through them, right? When you look at it from years ago, we had a lot of these major conditions where people were passing away, but now they happen much more prevalently, and people are living through it. You can see on the screen here, one in two people, that's a huge number, isn't it? Almost 50% are diagnosed with cancer at some point in their life. Every 40 seconds, you can see somebody in the U.S. has a stroke. We know heart attacks and recurrent heart attacks are huge, huge numbers. It happens all the time. And the good news is that people are living through them, right? 86% of hospitalized heart attacks survive. That's even higher on the first heart attack. This is one of those things when we talk about why this product's good for really anybody out there. Because everybody, anybody who's over 25 knows somebody who's had a heart attack or had a stroke or had one of these major, major critical illnesses out there. So we know it happens quite a bit. If you look at stroke patients, we know this from our long-term care studies, right? 80% of stroke patients survive the initial event. 35%, over a third, have absolutely minor impairments or no impairments at all after a stroke. So we know people are surviving through them. You can see even with transplants and kidney failures, et cetera, the survival rate is incredibly high. The problem that we have to remember and what critical illness uh, agents do is they remind their people that, you know, even though you have health insurance, if you have a critical illness, there's lots of other covered, uncovered expenses in there, isn't there? There's medical co-pays, there's loss of income, transportation, child care, all those things that we spend money on in everyday life that if you don't have it with critical illness, it can be a major, major cost. It can be a major damage for folks, as you can see on this screen. More than 50% of bankruptcies are caused by excess medical expenses. And the huge majority, almost 80% of those people, have health insurance in place. If you talk about the big real estate boom that we had, where everybody got in trouble in the housing market, look at that next stat there. Half of the foreclosures in America were due to debt for medical causes, not because they bought too much house. So we can see... This is a huge issue, and that's why 
we can see critical illness in its own doing such a good job of growing in this market that we live in here in America. What we want to spend more time on today is realizing this huge crossover of claims with long-term care insurance. And this is what gets agents excited. And once you educate your clients, this is why they've really embraced this product so well. If you look at the upper right up there, Alzheimer's, strokes, and cancer represent 70% of all the claims dollars going out for long-term care insurance. On the flip side, in the lower left, cancer, heart attacks, and strokes caused 80% of the new critical illness claims. That's huge crossover already, and that's why we talk about critical care as being a new concept to solve an old problem or an existing problem. It's the perfect fit for a long-term care insurance salesperson who goes out and specializes educating people about the need for long-term care insurance. We almost named this product too well when we came up with its critical care because it is on a critical illness chassis, but it has a lot of the long-term care flavor in it. So we want to make sure, don't shut me down again if you're in a critical illness and it's not a product that you want to get involved in because you're going to see this product is quite a bit different. Okay, so let's spend a couple minutes looking at this product a little closer. There are the triggering uh, diagnoses on the screen there, cancer, heart attack, stroke, Alzheimer's, something different than you've seen in most critical illness plans, and the other biggies like kidney failure, transplant, paralysis, and coma. Okay, and we'll talk more about this as we go through. But what we want to show you with this plan is some of the unique parts of it that really make it sing and dance. Number one, you know if you've had any of Golden Care or Ames products over the years in long-term care, we love cash. We love the flexibility of having first-day cash, and that's how this product works. It's based on the diagnosis of those critical conditions, and you can use it for virtually anything you need to use it for. Loss of income, paying your mortgage, child care, travel, etc. Okay? It stands apart from your typical critical illness policies in a lot of different ways. The first one I already mentioned is that it covers Alzheimer's disease. Most of these policies out there don't cover Alzheimer's. And we did make this increase benefits in almost all the states, any of them that would approve it. We increase benefits when residing in assisted living or nursing home. And we'll talk more about that later on. But that's pretty unique, and that's one of the things, some of the reasons a few of the states said we can't do that. It's too much like long-term care insurance. So you can see we did a good job of making this policy try to match as much as we could with what long-term care does for you. Unlike most long-term care policies out there that are shutting down applications after age 79, you can take apps all the way up to age 84 with this policy. And because of the way the underwriting set up, you get a ton more of them approved. Critical care stands apart from long-term care again. The trigger of the benefits is much, much sooner. This is that thing we already talked about. It's based on diagnosis, not activities of daily living, right? And because this policy is a defined benefit, the underwriting for it is much, much easier. We're going to spend some time at the end talking about underwriting in detail. But the good news for you folks, if you've been in long-term care, you know the underwriting is the one thing you pull your hair out with long-term care insurance. It's much easier and much faster with this product. The issue rates are much, much higher so you get paid more often for going out and educating and helping people with this product. Okay, Let's look a little bit at this crossover and why we think you as a long-term care insurance agent should definitely offer this product and have it in your portfolio because it will make your life easier, plus it will make your client's life easier. The first thing we talk about is that crossover again. 70% of long-term care claims go towards Alzheimer's, strokes, and cancer. And we talked about this earlier how that crossover was so big, critical care is based on, remember, a lighter trigger. All you have to do is be diagnosed. You don't have to have problems with activities of daily living. So we looked at it, and when my brother Mark put this uh, policy or this presentation, excuse me, together, he talked about the fact that because of the fact that it covers people sooner, would you be able to throw 10% on there maybe and say, you know, maybe now we're looking at about an 80% crossover because some of the people who wouldn't have coverage like for a heart attack, et cetera, uh, or cancer early on, would be able to get coverage here. So these are obviously arbitrary numbers, but he's trying to make a point of saying, just think how strong this product is for your clients. We could be sitting at about an 80% crossover now. And if you go in the next step and remember that it's going to typically pay for some things that long-term care usually doesn't even think about, like heart attack and bypass surgery, look at on the screen there. 
a million bypass surgeries a year, 1.2 million plus heart attacks a year. Mark's looking at that originally saying, is that another 10%? Look at all those cases that happen in America. Is that maybe another 10%? The scary thing is when he really dug in and rolled up the shirt sleeves to do the actual research, he realized that your chances of having a heart attack or bypass surgery vary from 33% all the way up to 47% if you have one risk factor. Suddenly he's looking at it going, man, now are we looking at literally 90, 100% crossover or more? That's kind of scary, isn't it? It isn't long-term care insurance. There's obviously going to be some claims that aren't paid by this policy, some mobility issues and some of those things that won't be covered. But I'll tell you what, it's pretty strong, isn't it? If you look at the odds of having cancer at a coin flip and the odds of having a heart attack or bypass as high as 47%, and then you look at Alzheimer's, which is covered by this plan as well, you know that at age 85 there's a 50% chance again that you're going to develop Alzheimer's. It's just like when we're in the long-term care arena, isn't it? When we're teaching people that, you know, you got to stop thinking about is whether you'll ever need this. It's almost when you'll ever need it. That's how prevalent these type of conditions are. And remember, when you look at Alzheimer's, one of the things we see with traditional long-term care insurance is a perfect fit for those long Alzheimer's claims, right? Alzheimer's kind of that insidious disease that can last for five or six years sometimes. And we know that's one of the big strengths of traditional long-term care insurance. But remember, if we look at the actual statistics of what's happening, if we look at actual claims for long-term care insurance dollars out there, you can see 49% of actual long-term care insurance claim are for Alzheimer's that are, have an average industry claim of 659 days. So remember this product, as I show you how it's put together, you're going to see I could sell you a two-year critical care plan that would really provide sufficient benefits at least to exceed the average industry claim. It's not going to cover you for the nine, you know, six, seven, eight-year claims out there that some of the LTC policies will, but I'll tell you what it's still pretty solid coverage when you look at the true statistics of what's happening out there at claim time. Basically, when you look at it, Alzheimer's and you look at this huge crossover percentage of claims of these major critical illnesses, it really is a perfect fit for what you need out in the industry. But one of the things we realized early on is that one of the agents that was a gal Mark worked with, and she, she didn't present this a lot. And Mark finally asked her and said, what's going on? Why aren't you presenting this product to your uninsurables? And she said, well, a lot of my uninsurables are having mobility problems, maybe arthritis issues, right? And they're not getting issued long-term care insurance policies, but this policy doesn't really cover, you know, rheumatoid arthritis or mo mobility issues to speak of. So she said, I didn't know if it'd be that good of a fit. It seemed like kind of going to a plan B that was a little too much of a stretch. And basically what Mark did is said, make sure you don't take an agent's perspective before you think about what the client might want or might need. And basically he talked about the fact that remember the alternative. When you're looking at somebody who can't get long-term care insurance coverage, remember their options are pretty limited. Now you're looking at it saying, you know, this product may not cover arthritis. No, but I'll tell you what, it'll cover 50% chance you have of getting cancer. It'll cover heart attack problems. It'll cover these huge numbers of Alzheimer's, et cetera. Maybe this is something you still would have for those other conditions. Because remember, your alternative is not having anything. Suddenly, this gal, the light turned on, and she went out and had tremendous success talking to her clients and said, boy, you're right. I was looking at it from my perspective and not from my clients. So remember that as you go out there, this is a kind of a little side note. I'll get off my soapbox, but I want to make sure you realize don't forget that once you educate your clients on this, you're going to be pleasantly surprised at how many of them jump all over this, especially if they've heard a little bit about the need for long-term care and they can't get it. It's the perfect fit for them. Okay? Let's look at how we design a plan with this critical illness policy, uh, critical care. And again, that's what this the whole webinar is called. So I want to spend a minute to show you how to put it together. Remember, you're going to be able to get these slides later so you don't have to have it all mastered right off the bat. First of all, there's three different plans you can choose from. And there's plan A, plan B, and plan C. Not a lot of choices to be made here. This is much, much easier to put together than long-term care uh, traditional policies are because this policy basically is based on the underwriting. Almost everybody starts out thinking, let's see if I can get plan A. It covers cancer up on top. 
and it covers the heart attack and strokes in the middle. And then it covers what we call the base conditions or the base policy conditions, including Alzheimer's, okay? Then basically what it does, and we'll talk more when we get in the underwritings, basically it says there's a cancer care plus policy out there for folks who have had problems with heart or stroke issues. We can sell them a plan that still covers the cancer risk and the base conditions. On the flip side, on the far right, you can see if somebody has cancer problems, we can still sell them a policy that covers the stroke and heart attack scares and the base conditions. So real simple stuff, again, usually based on the underwriting. Okay? And then basically we put together our plan. And this is a little bit different than long-term care and a little bit similar. You can see we start out with a monthly base benefit. In most states, it's $500 to $3,000 per month in $250 increments. This policy also can cover dependents at $500 per month. Then the benefits, remember we talked about, are increased if you have to go into a long-term care facility. So you get 100% additional benefit if you have to go into a nursing home for care. And on the flip side, you get 50% more for assisted living. So when you get these slides in the email later on, you can see the example down at the bottom. If I chose a $2,000 monthly base benefit, it would pay $3,000 per month for assisted living or 100% extra $4,000 per month for nursing home. Pretty easy stuff. Then I select a benefit period with this plan, 6, 12, 18, or 24 months. And that's in most states, it's this, those same four that you get to choose from, okay? The nice thing about this, and one of the differences from traditional critical illness that you'll see, most plans out there for CI say, if you have a major condition, the plan kind of goes away. It pays you the benefit, and then it goes away. This policy is different. We designed it to be more like long-term care insurance and be a little bit more robust. This plan gives you the ability to have multiple claims. Okay, They call it a benefit restoration, but basically what it does is says if you have one of the critical illnesses and then at the last month that the check is paid to you for that benefit, then 12 months later if you get diagnosed with another serious critical illness that's covered, this policy could pay again. Okay, so real simple stuff, it gives you the ability to keep getting these benefits available to you if you have more and more diagnosis, and I'll show you an example of that. The only thing that limits the plan is a lifetime maximum benefit. And again, your software will do this real easy. It's very simple math, and we put it on here so you could see an example of it later on when you look at it for a refresher. It basically says what's the most amount it could pay out in any given month. We know that's the nursing home benefit, right? It pays double what it does for the base home health care benefit. So it pays out at the full monthly base benefit times the benefit period you chose, whether it's 6, 12, 18, or 24 months, times 3. One of the questions a lot of agents always ask, so I'll cover it now, where did the 3 come from? Well, the 3 is a fixed number to calculate the lifetime maximum benefit. It's an arbitrary number that we put together to help design this plan to make it affordable and powerful at the same time. So 3 is the same all the time when you're calculating the lifetime maximum benefit. You can see the example on the screen. If we chose a $2,000 home health care base benefit, it would pay double for nursing home, so $4,000. So when we calculate our lifetime maximum, it would be $4,000 times the benefit period, 24 months in this example, times that fixed number three, and you'd have a lifetime maximum of $288,000 in this plan. Okay? No growth with inflation with this plan. That's the reason we can get our underwriting through much, much easier is because there's no, no undetermined amount of growth. It's always a fixed benefit that they're going to pay you. So it's a nice, solid way to put together a good, solid coverage plan quite simply. Okay? The coverage limits by diagnosis. All the biggies in there are covered at 100% of whatever your benefit period is. Now the exceptions are, and again, we did this to make this more affordable for people using common sense. If you have cancer in situ, which means cancer that's in the layer of skin or the layer of tissue and it hasn't moved and it's not going to move, that's a three-month claim because it's not going to be as big an issue for your clients. Heart attacks, again, three months. Most people have heart attacks are up and at them pretty quickly. Coronary bypass, two months because, again, pretty quick recovery for bypass surgery. Coma, three months. All the other ones, the biggies like stroke and major cancers, are covered for the full benefit period that you choose. Okay? Let's look at an example, and again, this is a lot of writing on your screen here for this webinar, 
but it'll be a nice thing for you to reference later on. Basically, we're showing you how incredibly powerful and flexible this plan is. Let's say we go out and sell Joe a really nice little policy. It's a 24-month huge plan with $2,000 base that pays up to $4,000 for a nursing home. So he's got that $288,000 pool of money. Okay, Joe's doing real well out there, but then all of a sudden, a couple years down the line, he has a stroke. It's a pretty minor stroke, so he gets to stay at home. And in this case, remember, as soon as he's diagnosed, take off your long-term care insurance hat, and remember that this is different. As soon as he's diagnosed, the policy starts paying. And it's going to pay him a check because he's at home for the base amount that he bought, the $2,000 per month. And every month he's going to get that. And even though this was a minor stroke and Joe was up and at him feeling pretty good after about three months, this policy still paid what it promised. It paid for the full 24 months. Even if he's feeling 100% better, six or seven months down the line, he forgot he even had a stroke practically, this policy keeps paying for the full benefit period. And basically in the lower left there you can see the math is done on his lifetime maximum. He's still got a nice chunk of money left. Now Joe's going along, things are doing pretty well for him, but poor Joe three years later has some bad luck and he gets diagnosed with cancer. And he ends up, just to show you the flexibility of this product, he ends up having to go to a nursing home. Okay? Excuse me. In this example, again, the policy is going to pay for the full 24 months. And in this case, Joe had to go to a nursing home, so it pays out the double amount, right? It pays out $4,000 per month. Now, agents always ask, so I'm going to cover it here again. Common sense rules the day. There's no smoking guns here, okay? If Joe started out with his cancer and, let's say, wasn't as bad at first and he stayed at home for the first six months, the policy would pay six months at the $2,000 level, right? Because he's at home. Then if, God forbid, Joe got worse and his cancer got bad enough they had to put him into a nursing home, in that case, as soon as he had to go to a nursing home, trust me, the nursing home is going to ask, does he have any type of insurance to help out? Joe can go up and have the benefits increase up to the full nursing home amount for those remaining 18 months. Okay, So it's just like you'd expect commonsensical. If he's at home, he gets paid the home amount. If he goes into a facility, he gets paid at the higher facility amount. Okay? But in this example, he was there the full 24 months in the nursing home, so he still has 144000 left in his pool of money. Now when you look six years later, Joe just has more and more bad luck so we can show you how strong his policy is. And six years later, Joe has another stroke, and this one's a major stroke. Okay? This one puts him right down and out and puts him in a nursing home. So again, he gets paid at the full 24 months that he bought, at the double amount, the $4,000 per month. Now remember earlier I told you that Joe, if he got better from that first stroke, he still got paid for the full 48 months, or excuse me, the full 24 months at 48000 Same case here. If Joe on the flip side ends up, God forbid, passing away during his claim period, the policy still pays. Okay, They're not going to send monthly checks if Joe passes away, but they will send a bulk amount at the end of the, as soon as they show uh, proof of death, etc. Okay, and again, just common sense school because agents always ask, if Joe was in a nursing home and let's say on that far right side over here, and 12 months in he died, they're not going to pay the remaining 12 months at the nursing home level because his body's not going to stay in the nursing home, right? It's going to be paid at his base amount, the $2,000. So the remaining 12 months, if Joe passed away, would go to his estate at the level of uh, $2,000 for 12 months if that's when it happened. Okay, Pretty easy stuff. Again, I went into more detail there just to let you hear it verbally. And when you get these slides later, you can look back for reference. It's pretty easy and common sense stuff. Okay. Finally, let's look at the underwriting and spend a couple extra seconds here. But it goes pretty quickly because I just mainly put these so you'd see them later on your handout. Basically, we took our other product that we helped design with United of Omaha for a traditional long-term care insurance policy, and we took a screenshot of the health questions, the knockouts. And you can see on the screen here, all the red areas are circled, are knockout questions for sure with long-term care insurance, but with this policy, we might be able to get you coverage. Pretty cool. You can see up here, we've got the mobility issues. Here we've got physical speech therapy, etc. 
Here we've got our activities of daily living that we're all used to. Not going to be a problem with this product. And down here, some of the bigger conditions that are covered with this product where they aren't with long-term care insurance. And even at the bottom here, when it talks about strokes, if you had some stroke issues, we can't get you the full critical care plan, but remember we have three, chan three plans to choose from. You could still get the Cancer Care Plus policy. Okay, wouldn't be able to cover the heart and stroke problems, but you would be able to cover the cancer problems. Same thing on the, the next page here, the diabetics with 50 units of insulin. It's going to be acceptable for some coverage. We still might be able to get you the Cancer Care Plus policy. Again, wouldn't be able to cover it for the heart, heart attack and strokes. Down here on the flip side, if you had cancer issues, automatic walk away with long-term care insurance, but with this product, we have Cardiac Care Plus policy available for you. Okay, And down at the bottom, disability, remember all the problems we have with long-term care insurance if you're on any form of Social Security, disability, etc. Not going to be a problem here with this critical care plan. So you can see from those initial knockout questions, lots of areas that you can help people where they couldn't get help with traditional long-term care insurance. Also, we went a step further and took our underwriting guide for our long-term care insurance, and we went in and looked at all those different conditions you'll see on these next two slides, and you can kind of read them for yourself. I won't bore you by reading each one, but look at all those conditions that are field declines in long-term care insurance that we can offer you at least some coverage here with the critical care plan. So you can see lots of different things that we had to walk away from before that now we can keep that conversation open. Let's look at the application next. The application, remember overall, if we look at the underwriting, just as a recap, there's five knockout questions, no height and weight questions to worry about. Every application does have a drug prescription history. Okay, So this part I want to point out, it's going to be on the app, and I'll show you where that is. This is an area you don't want to skimp on, because one of the things we're seeing as we're writing more business here is that at the bottom bullet, you can see in rare circumstances, they might do a phone or a face-to-face -face or get medical records. Okay, And this is at the underwriter's discretion, and literally there's not a lot of cases they're doing, but the ones that they are doing, we're seeing the reason why is usually because of that drug prescription history. There's an area on the app to put down any prescription meds you're on. Don't skimp in that area, okay? Don't make the mistake of going out there and just figuring out, ah, this is easy stuff, I'll just scribble some notes here. Make sure you try to be pretty copious about it and do, take some good notes. Because that is the area that if there's something on the drug prescription history that they do that doesn't match what's on the app, it almost always is going to trigger a phone interview. It may even trigger where they're saying, maybe we better get additional records because we may not be knowing everything that's really going on with this client. Okay? So that's just kind of a warning that we're learning as we go through here. If you're scribbling down and they can't read the Social Security number, they might do a phone interview to verify the app. And then since they have them on the phone, they'll go through and do kind of a more complete phone interview. So try to make sure you uh, send in legible apps, fill in every spot on the app, and take your time and do a good job on the drug prescription history. You're going to save you and your clients a lot of time on the underwriting as well. These policies started out, when we first started selling them, they were literally turning around in a day or two. That's how fast they were. But now as we're picking up steam and we're selling more policies, we're seeing that the underwriting is just tremendously quick compared to long-term care insurance. No uh, big surprise there because they're not getting those APSs, et cetera. But we're seeing the turnaround times now, turning around maybe 10, 15 business days, really quick. Some of them are really, really fast because the drug prescription history is quick and uh, they did the data entry, they had a slower day or whatever it might be. We're seeing some of them still get turned around in four or five days. But overall, I try to set the expectation bar at a reasonable level. Expect it to take 10 or 15 days, and that way you won't have any big surprises. Some of them will be a little bit longer if they got to dig in a little deeper, and some of them will be much, much quicker. Okay. Again, if we're looking at underwriting, most of it's based on what plan you choose is based on the underwriting that you do on the app. Remember we talked about the three plans here, critical care, the one that doesn't cover heart attack but it covers cancer, and finally the one on the far right, plan C, that covers heart and stroke but doesn't cover cancer because of conditions that are there with the client. Okay? 
if you look at the application, again, a lot of this will be for future reference, but about as simple as you get. If I was going to go a long-term care application webinar, not only would all you guys hang up and run for the hills, it would take forever, but this is real simple stuff. So I can show you the entire app. The pre-qualification questions, remember we saw that uh, earlier on? We saw all those big conditions on one of the first screens I showed you earlier. The past 10 years, have you had any of those major conditions? If you do, we can't get you an application. In the past five years, have you had drug or alcohol problems, or are you currently in an assisted living or nursing home? And question three is that one that says, for any of the conditions listed in part one, those big conditions we already talked about, or the conditions you'll see down below, have you been advised to seek treatment, but you haven't yet done it? Remember, that's the big subtle difference here. Most people aren't going to have huge issues with that. You can see if you answered yes to number one, two, or three, that's knockout questions with this policy. Much, much easier than what you're used to with long-term care insurance. Then we go to question four and five, the last two questions on the app besides the pres prescription drugs below that. Question four says, in the past 10 years, has any person to be insured been diagnosed as having or received medication for, if you look at part A, it says for cancer issues. And if you look at question five, it says, if I'm writing somebody under the age of 60, or make sure you read the question at, uh, agents so you don't get confused, only if you're writing somebody younger, you ask question five. And it says, if you're under 60, you have two or more of your relatives who had cancer before the age of 60. Okay? If they did, answer yes to question A for four or for five, you can see right down below it tells you exactly what to do. If you answered yes, then the cancer care coverage obviously isn't available. We might be able to get your cardiac coverage. Okay? Makes sense? Pretty easy stuff. On the flip side, if you go to question 4B, it says, in the past 10 years, have you had problems with strokes or heart attacks? And question 5B says, if I'm selling to somebody under age 60, have they had family members who have had stroke or heart disease or diabetes? Pretty easy stuff, right? If you see that down at the bottom, it again very clearly tells you, hey, if the applicant answers yes to 4B or 5B, guess what? We can't get the cardiac care for them, but we can maybe get them cancer care coverage. Very easy stuff. That's the nice part about it. And you saw below that it, it asked for prescription drugs. So make sure you do a good job of filling that part out. And you've got the underwriting portion of the app done. Okay? Rates, never been easier. Remember the good old days? Some of you guys have maybe been around a long time. Remember the days when we actually put out long-term care insurance policies with rate books? And they were even pretty thick back then. Now you can get back to the very, very simple rate book. There's literally one page for each of the rate classes. That's how easy this is. I'm going to show you right here in a second how we can develop a rate literally in under a minute. Okay? It is on a software program that we can show you where to get, but most agents are just using a rate book because it's so easy to calculate it from there. You're going to see the simple rate worksheet page. And again, it doesn't get much simpler than this. Choose plan A, B, or C. We just saw that based on the underwriting critical care, the cancer care, or the cardiac care. Then you choose your benefit period, 6, 12, 18, or 24 months, and you figure out your monthly base benefit that you wanted. If you look at that worksheet there, that's all there is to it. The applicant plan, then there's one for the spouse because you use the same application. There's even a whole middle area there for kids if you want dependent care on there. Remember, that'll cover $500 per month for dependents. Then at the bottom is just the rate calculation of subtotaling it, if you want return a premium, it's available in most states with this plan. It's a pretty inexpensive return a premium. We don't sell tons of it. Uh, you can see there, unlike long-term care insurance, it might have a huge 100% plus premium load. This return a premium is only 10 to 25%. And the difference is, of course, with this one, you have to read the policy. You have to die before your 81st birthday. So it is something that's going to show you that it isn't as strong where you can die anytime you want, okay? But it is available. Then you're going to see a $25 policy fee is on there. And then if you want to change it to a monthly or something else for a modal premium, you got to do one more calculation. Doesn't get much easier than that. There's one page in the book 
for each different rate that you might want, a block of rates for each benefit period. So there's one page for critical care, there's one for the plan B and one for the plan C, and then you have 6, 12, 18, or 24 months in each state. You can see there there's one block of rates for each one. Then right in the rate book it shows you that it, the rates are annual. It shows you down at the bottom, you can't read it, but it shows you that if somebody uses tobacco it's a 1.5 factor and there's a $25 policy fee we talked about. Here's how you develop a rate in under a minute. I have a 60 year old. I'm sitting across the table from him and I say let's see what we can do for you. You qualify for the full critical care plan. Uh, if I decide I want a 12 month period I've got it narrowed down to one block of rates. Okay, If I did a 12 month benefit plan. Then I look at my 60 year old on the left. I find what I want to offer him. Let's say $1,500 a month. All I do is follow my fingers down and it's $929.64 is my base rate. I add in the $25 policy fee and I've got $954.64 a year. I've got to sharpen my pencil because suddenly he says he wants to pay monthly. I don't have to panic. I look down at the bottom. I see I have a .09 factor and I do one last bit of math and I know it's $85.92 a month for my client. That's how easy it is. Great, strong, powerful product, but very, very easy to calculate rates because there's not a lot of moving parts to it. Okay, That's how easy it is. And For future reference, you can see some sample rates out there just to show you how affordable this plan can be uh, for your clients. Finally, before I open it up for questions and close it up here, uh, I do want to let you know and remind you that this product Today's seminar was talking more about what it is and how it works. One of the best follow-ups for you, and I really recommend it if you haven't been on it, there's a great follow-up webinar tomorrow, Thursday the 21st at 2 p.m. Central Time. My brother Mark is going to be doing a really nice training on how to capitalize on critical care. This is the one that really digs in the blood and guts of this plan and shows you how to go out and help a lot of people with it. It's going to show you the consumer presentation we have, for the clients themselves, show you how to sell previous declines, how to set up current declines or field declines so when you're sitting across the table presenting long-term care insurance, he'll show you how to smoothly pivot over to show them this critical care plan. He's going to talk about some of the pre-presentation questions, how to pivot again to critical care. And as a matter of fact, he goes so far that we've seen how well this product works. Now we've got some skin in the game and we're saying, you know, we know this thing works. So I'll tell you what, we'll go a step further and if you don't want to learn a new product, if you don't want to go out there and be able to open the door wide open for more and more opportunities to go in and present and talk to people because you don't have to worry so much about pre-screening health questions, etc., you can go out and say, I don't want to do it. And if you give us a list of your declines and if you go out, we have pre-made letters you send out to them, We'll go out and make the sales for you, and we'll give you 40% of your commissions for it. That's how strong this is. We have it's called our Dollars for Declines program, and we can do the work for you if you want, because we know this product works, and we know we designed a plan here that can help more and more people out in, the, uh, in America today. So we're excited about it. Hopefully you are too. Catch that webinar if you want to really roll up your sleeves and do a good job for more people, because in my mind, we know the senior market. I could get on my soapbox and talk about all the seniors out there who need our help, but I'll tell you what, there's absolutely no better product to have in your portfolio. If you sell long-term care insurance and this product's available in your state, I'm at the point where I look agents in the eye and say, you got to have it. It's a no-brainer. You have to have this product there or you're going to be walking away from people you could have helped. It's almost, to me, a due diligence issue where you better present it or you're not doing all you can do for your clients, the people that are counting on you. Okay. Anyway, we'll get off my soapbox there. If you want a full list of our webinars, go to goldencaretraining.com. And I do want you to know that if you haven't been appointed with Golden Care, the next step's up to you. And again, I'll open it up for questions, but I just want to make sure I do my due diligence here too. We have tons of things. We don't just throw brokers against the wall and hope they stick. We've got some of the best support tools and the best support programs in the industry for you. And it all starts with you. you Got to go out there and start take the first step. Get appointed with Golden Care. Get appointed with critical, critical care for GTL if it's in your area. 
and let us go out and show you how you can go out and help a lot of people and make a lot of money doing it because we have a lot of great tools for you. Okay. That being said, I'm going to finish up the presentation here, the recorded side. Thank you very much. This is Tom Randall from Golden Care, and I want to thank everybody who's listening to the recording, and I'm going to open it up here for questions again. But remember to call Golden Care at 800-842-7799 if you have questions.